my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about what's in my church bag and the type of bag I use to take all the things to church with me on Sunday mornings. Stay tuned. I can't wait to show you more. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about what's in my church bag. These are the things I take to church every Sunday. Some of them may be a little mm, overkill, but this is what I take and this is what I use. So you may have other things that you put in your church bag. We all have different things. I think it depends on what stage of life we're in, whether we have kids, whether we don't have kids, whatever, <laughs> you're going to put different stuff in your church bag. Um, first of all, let me tell you, this is the Modern Tote from 31 Gifts, and I love using the Modern Tote as my church bag. I love that it is classy looking, it is sturdy, it has a nice drop length on my shoulder straps. I love this white basket weave print. This is a new print for our Spring Summer Catalog 2022. I have been waiting for 31 to come out with a classic white looking very fresh, very clean, very bright, vibrant uh, white for the spring and summer and they finally did it. So thank you 31 for bringing this print this year. Um, once I get everything out, I will go over the inside of the bag and show you all the features of the inside of this bag so you can see if you would like to get one of these for your church bag. These do come in other prints and other colors. I will put a link in the description below. I will also try to insert some pictures over here of the various prints and patterns that are currently available. Um, depending on when you see this video, these prints or patterns may or may not be available, but as they are currently when I'm filming, I will link this in the description below. Um, I will also link my 31 website in the description below so you can shop and see if there's any other 31 bags that you would like to use as your church bag. So the first things first when I pull out my church bag is an obvious one. It is my Bible. This is my She Reads Truth Bible. I have other study Bibles and other Bibles that I use on a regular basis. However, I don't really want to take a big, thick, heavier study Bible to church. This bag will absolutely hold it. I just don't want to do that. So I do have my She Reads Truth Bible. I also have, this is a Get Creative Slim Pouch from 31. These are no longer available but I just have a bunch of pens and highlighters in here, um, which is kind of crazy because I have another pen pouch that I use. So this is kind of overkill on my pens, but I do have a 31 Slim Pouch. Now this is my absolutely favorite pouch of all time that I like to use for pens and pencils. I wish 31 would bring this back. Um, it, it's, it's actually, discontinued. You may or may not find one that is an online extra in a different print, but this is the Get Creative Zipper Pouch. I have mine monogrammed in blush pink with Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. It does have a pocket that is a Velcro pocket right here. And again, this is why I say it's overkill to have this and this because I have more pens and highlighters in here. And also I have a notebook tucked in right here. And then I have some of my Tombow highlighters right here and just another pen. So this is one of those. I have different pens. I have pens that do not bleed in my Bible if I'm gonna make notes in my Bible. And I also have highlighters that I'm specifically using that will not bleed in my Bible, okay? So I have the Sharpie S notes that do not bleed and the Tombow, uh, I think these are the Tombow just brush pens. They do not bleed through the pages of my Bible either. So these are just um, some of the pens and highlighters that I keep in my church bag. And I love this because I can keep everything zipped up nice and compact and it's good to go. 
I also have a mini happy notes. Again, I can write notes on things. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes if you're in service and you're trying to pay attention to the sermon and then you just have random thoughts that get stuck in your mind, you can just write it down real quick so you don't forget it, set it aside, and you're done. So again, I do keep a happy planner, mini happy notes in my church bag. Always got to keep a little hairbrush because, you know, and then I do have a hair rubber band on the hairbrush. That was loud. Sorry. This is another 31 product that I use every day. Um, this stays in my church bag. This is the Ruby Mini. This print is stone distressed. I do have one that matches my bag. I just haven't swapped it over yet. So this is the Ruby Mini. I also have a um, wristlet on it. So what do I keep in here? Obviously I don't need pens because you know, sometimes you just need the little things. So I keep a fingernail ball, a little mirror. I have a lip liner and some lipsticks. If I have to touch up my lips, uh, maybe before I go into church, maybe if I'm still sitting in the car and I need to touch up my lips or maybe I haven't even done my lips yet. So I've got those. I have a little wipe for my glasses. And I love how it just tucks down in here. So I have that. I have some Advil because you never know when you're gonna get the headache or whatever. I do have some feminine products. I also have another wipes from, this was when I got my glasses. Um, so this is another little glasses wipes. Tied to go pen. Um, I have a Thieves Roller. This is my Young Living Thieves Roller. I actually, looks like I need to get some more of that. This is a healer stick. So, and this you could just put on like if, well, I have a scratch over here. So let me just put it on here. Um, smells really good too. So you could pick, put that on bug bites or if you have some um, mosquito bites that are itching and you just need to get those where you just use one of these. I also have Breathe Again from my Young Living Roller Ball. I have another hair rubber band and another hair rubber band. And then it looks like I just have some cough drops because if you're sitting in church, there's nothing worse than um, coughing your head off and being a distraction to everybody else. So I have multiple cough drops in here. I actually have a bunch of cough drops because you just never know. And then I have a little bitty thing of tabs. These are little post-it tabs. So if there is just something I absolutely love and want to mark in my Bible, I will use a little post-it and I will absolutely mark and um, put the post-it on the pages of my Bible. I'm not opposed to that. And then I have a shout wipe. So you never know if something's going to spill somewhere. Maybe you go out to lunch after church and you need a shout wipe or you need your Tide to go pen. These are essentials that I keep in my Ruby Mini. And again, I love having the Ruby Mini because it is classy looking. It's very um, roomy because you see all the things I could fit in here. I could also fit my keys in here if I wanted to. Um, so lots of ways that you could use this little Ruby Mini pouch. Again, you could just, you could just put your keys and some essentials and uh, your driver's license and take this and your Bible and you're good to go. But I like being able to tuck it inside my bag so I have other little essentials necessary if I need them during church, okay? And then I also have, because obviously I don't have enough pens and highlighters, I have another set of mild liner highlighters that I keep with me. I actually like using these because, again, these are dual tipped and uh you have the fine tip and then you have a wider wedge tip or chisel tip i think is what everybody calls them so i do have my mild liners and i do have more colors these are just the colors i have packed in this bag and then in the zipper pocket i have gum because you never know when you need the gum because you're singing and you may have stinky breath you gotta have the gum I have tissues 
because you never know when you're gonna need tissues in service, whether you have a runny nose or maybe you're getting a little weepy eyed. I always have tissues in my bag because I've had friends that I have to pass these around to and I've needed them myself. And then I just have a Blistex because I always carry a Blistex. I'm a Blistex fiend. And then a hand lotion. Um, just any kind of hand cream if my hands get dry. Um, this is one, this is an old one. This is Bath and Body Works hand cream. It's called Pretty as Peach. It's just a nice, light, bright scent. Um, depending on who and what age group is in your congregation or even seasonally, you may want to take an unscented hand lotion or hand cream. And guys, that's it for what's in, in my church bag. I mean, I do have some more wipes. Um, I do have these wet wipes that I keep in here. These are just the single wet wipes because you never know. Again, I have more of those, probably too many of these. People ask for what for wet wipes for whatever reason. Okay, so that is everything that is inside the bag. So now I'm going to show you what the interior of the bag looks like, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so I have cleared everything off the table that I had in the bag. So now I just wanna show you the interior features of the modern tote. Again, this is the tote I'm using as my church bag because it is nice, it is classy looking. Um, I can fit everything I need in it and stuff I don't need, to be honest. So again, this is the Modern Tote in white basket weave. It is trimmed with the handles in a camel distressed. Camel is just a light, sandy, I mean camel. Think of a camel, the color of a camel. So, and all of this is vegan leather. This is our premium faux leather material. On the back, we have our signature cell phone pocket. So again, I can slip my cell phone in here and I have a 12 Pro Max with a case that easily fits in here. Plenty of room. So I always know that number one, if for some reason my phone is not on silent, I know exactly where it is. I don't have to dig in the bottom of my bag or in the interior pockets. I know exactly where my phone is. I can grab it and silence it very quickly. Um, always make sure your phone is on silent. At church, your pastor will appreciate it. So again, signature cell phone pocket, love that. And then on the interior of this bag, you have this large zipper pocket right here. This is where I keep the Blistex, the hand cream, and some of those wipes. And then you have two flat pockets right here. One of these is where I keep the um, the package of mild liners. So again, plenty of space to keep all this. It is lined in a fabric. It is a fabric that will get dirty. So if you have pins, I would make sure that your um, lids are on your pins. I have seen purses where um, a, a, a cap has come off the end of the pin and you know it's bled onto the fabric. Of course, with it being on the interior, it'd be very hard to clean. So make sure you always keep your lids on your pins and your highlighters. But again, just a very good open size tote for you to use for church. And again, maybe you wanna use it for something else. But this is everything I keep in my church bag. Again, you can see the drop link on this purse or bag, I call it a purse. It could be used as a purse too, but a good size bag that I could just easily keep everything in and I can sit it in the floor in front of me and I don't have to worry about things falling out. And I always have everything I need. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you have ideas of other things that you keep in your church bag, comment below. Maybe you have something in your bag that I don't have in mind that I need, which I just thought of something, I need hand sanitizer. So I'm gonna get some hand sanitizer and I will add it to probably my Ruby Mini. So I just thought about that. But at least I have the wet ones that are the antibacterial hand wipes, so I do have those. Um, so again, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell for notifications so you will always be notified when I post a new video. If you like the content or if you have ideas for other videos you would like to see, 
comment below with that as well. Thanks guys. Um, oh yeah, don't forget, I'm linking all the things I talked about, uh, the 31 products in the description below. If they are not linked, then they are discontinued or no longer available. Um, the prints I have and showing, depending on when you watch this video, may or may not be, be available any longer. Um, also, I will link my VIP group for my Facebook. If you are interested in hosting a 31 party, please let me know. I would love to help you out and see how you could earn some of these great products for free. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and have a joyful day.